Battery life has always been one of the most talked about issues with smartphones, especially when it comes to Samsung. But now, there's word that Samsung might finally be taking a real step toward solving it. According to a new report out of I, South Korea, the company is working on a battery upgrade that could bring meaningful changes to future Galaxy phones. It's not the futuristic battery technology everyone's been waiting for, but it's still a move in the right direction. The update involves a new component known as SUS CAN. It's made from stainless steel and was developed by Samsung SDI, which is Samsung's own battery manufacturing arm. While this isn't the advanced silicon carbon battery tech that's been making headlines recently, SUS CAN does have some strong points. It allows for higher energy density, which means more power can be stored in the same physical space. It also offers faster charging speeds and helps reduce the risk of battery swelling, something many users complain about after long-term use. To break it down simply, your phone could charge more quickly and the battery could remain in better health over time. That alone would be a big improvement for many users who are tired of plugging in their phones halfway through the day or watching the battery percentage drop too fast. However, Samsung isn't the first to use this technology. Apple has already introduced SUS CAN in the iPhone 16 Pro Max, so instead of being ahead of the curve, Samsung now finds itself trying to catch up, something that has frustrated a lot of its longtime fans. What many were hoping for was a leap towards silicon carbon batteries. These have been getting attention lately because they offer large capacities in smaller designs. For example, the OnePlus 13T uses a silicon carbon battery that holds 6,200 mAh, all packed into a relatively slim body. That's something Samsung's current phones, which still use regular lithium-ion batteries, just can't compete with right now. Even foldable phones from other brands like the Oppo Find N5 are already taking advantage of silicon carbon tech to fit bigger batteries into thin frames. Meanwhile, Samsung's newer devices like the Galaxy S25 Edge haven't moved past traditional battery solutions, offering only small upgrades from past models. So why is Samsung holding back from switching to the newer tech? It seems they're being cautious. SUS CAN is likely easier and more stable to mass produce. It may not be groundbreaking, but it's more practical for large-scale rollout. For a company like Samsung, which releases a wide range of models each year, this might be a safer option while they continue working on the next big leap. There's no official release date yet for phones with SUS CAN batteries, but insiders suggest that Samsung is making steady progress. If things go well, we could see this tech debut in the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 7 or possibly the Galaxy S26 series. This would be especially helpful for foldables, which often struggle with battery life due to their large displays and power-hungry features. Of course, this still leaves some people feeling let down. Samsung used to be at the forefront of battery innovation, but lately it seems like they're falling behind. That said, any improvement is still worth noting, especially if it means phones will charge faster and batteries will last longer. CUS CAN might not be the major breakthrough people we're hoping for, but it's still progress. And if Samsung gets this right, it could lay the groundwork for adopting more advanced battery tech in the near future. Imagine a Galaxy phone with a slim body, fast charging, and a battery that easily lasts all day. That's the kind of upgrade users really want. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Ever wondered what cool stuff you might be missing on your Samsung phone after the One UI 7.0 update? Most people notice the updated look or how smooth everything feels, but some of the best features are hidden in plain sight. These small changes can actually make using your phone feel more fun and personal, and you probably haven't even tried them yet. Let's start with something playful. Samsung has added a smart new tool to its keyboard that lets you create stickers just by typing out a short sentence. Imagine typing a sleepy cat on a pillow and seeing that exact image turn into a sticker right from your keyboard. It uses artificial intelligence to create a visual version of what you type. No more searching through sticker packs or downloading extra apps. Now your ideas become your own custom stickers with just a few taps. If you're into doodling or drawing, there's another new feature you'll enjoy. One UI 7.0 introduces Drawing Assist, which lets you turn your sketches into stickers too. Just draw something, a star, a heart, or even something silly, then tap the sticker option and it instantly saves your artwork as a usable sticker. You also get a few different styles to choose from, so your sketch can have a unique look. It's an easy way to make conversations more creative and personal. The update also brings improvements to the gallery app, especially when it comes to photo colleges. 
Now you can make your own layout instead of choosing from pre-made templates. Just pick your photos, tap create, and go for the freeform option. This lets you move, resize, and rotate your pictures however you like. You could even change the background color, blur it out, or add rounded corners to your images. It's all about giving you full control over how your college looks, whether you're making something for social media or just for fun. Multitasking has also been improved. If you use floating pop-up windows for apps like Notes or Messages, you'll notice a smarter feature added. When you minimize these windows, they turn into small icons that flow under screen. Tap one of those icons and now you can see previews of all the minimized apps. That means you won't waste time reopening each one to find what you're looking for. It's a small tweak, but it helps a lot when you're juggling multiple apps at once. For those who like taking photos, Samsung made a thoughtful change to the camera app. Before, every time you close the app, it would reset your exposure settings. Now it remembers them. So if you prefer your photos to be brighter or darker in certain modes, like pro or night mode, the camera keeps those settings ready for next time. It's a tiny detail, but it saves you time and makes shooting photos a lot smoother. These updates might not be big headlines, but they add a lot to how you use your phone every day. From creating stickers on the spot to smarter multitasking and helpful camera settings, One UI 7.0 focuses on the small things that really matter. These features make your device feel more like yours, customized to how you use it. If you've already upgraded, try out these tools and see which ones become your favorite. And if you're still waiting for the update, these are definitely some things to get excited about. Thanks for watching. And if this helped you learn something new, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more simple tips and updates. Are you trying to figure out which smartphone truly stands out as the best in the market right now? The Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra or the Apple iPhone 16 Pro Max? These two devices have created a storm in the tech world pushing the limits of performance and innovation. With Samsung's Galaxy S25 Ultra entering the ring with its cutting edge technology, the competition between the two becomes more intense. While many factors like design, ecosystem, and user experience play a role in making a choice, let's focus purely on the performance aspect. Using benchmark scores to compare the raw power these devices bring to the table. In the world of performance testing, Geekbench has long been a reliable tool for measuring the capability of a smartphone's CPU and GPU. This tool gives us a way to compare both devices in a way that removes the guesswork and focuses entirely on numbers. So let's take a deeper look at how both of these devices perform under the hood. When it comes to single core performance, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max has traditionally been the leader. Powered by Apple's 18 Pro chip, the iPhone 16 Pro Max achieved an impressive single core score of 3457. This score places it slightly ahead of the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, which scored 3220 with a Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy processor. Apple's consistent dominance in this area shows its ability to deliver top-notch performance in tasks that rely heavily on a single core, such as opening apps or web browsing. However, when we switch to multi-core performance, the competition flips entirely. Here, the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra showcases its superior power, scoring an outstanding 10,223, leaving the iPhone 16 Pro Max trailing behind with a score of 8553. This clear gap shows just how well Samsung's 